Hey, good Sam, this is Pastor Jed. Hey, it was great to be together on Sunday as we were continuing our series on generosity. We've been looking at generosity and I love the opportunity that I have to preach to a generous, generous church. And so I simply wanna say thank you for being so generous. You are reflecting God's generosity. Last week, we were reminded that God invites us to be generous. God invites us to live open-handed. We need to live open-handed because most of us are programmed to live closed-fisted. Last week, we were reminded of Jesus. As he's with his disciples, they are in the temple courts, and he is watching people give. He's reminding his disciples that the way that people give is a reflection of what is happening in their heart. And so Jesus sees people who are rich, people who are religious, people who are making a show. They are making it rain. And then Jesus sees a poor widow. She only has two copper pennies to give to the Lord. And she walks up and she gives her offering. She offers her offering with a glad and a thankful heart. Jesus is reminding his disciples and he's reminding us that it's not how much you give that matters to God. It's the heart in which your gift comes from. And so we have the opportunity of giving generously, giving as much as we can because God has given as much as he could give to us. If you haven't been a part of Wednesday Night Live, we kicked it off last week. If you're on the fence, we want to let you know that there's an open invitation. We want to continue our conversation on generosity. And so if you're free this Wednesday at 5.30 to 7.30, please come. We're providing pizza. We're providing a meal. There are quality events for your kids to be a part of that will help them to grow in their faith. And then you can connect with other people as we gather around God's word, as we look at God's word, as we apply God's word to our life. The last thing that I wanted to remind you of is the celebration for Fred and Lonnie. They have been key members at Good Sam for many years. They have recently graduated. They're with Jesus now. They are together. They are home. But we're going to be remembering them on November 6th. If you could reach out to Diane Leal by November 1st to let us know that you're interested in celebrating their life, that would be great. We're providing a beautiful worship service. We're also providing a meal in which we can be together as a family and to remember God's faithfulness and God's goodness and to remember the gift that this precious couple has been. Again, I'm so thankful to be a part of the church that is pursuing Jesus, becoming like Jesus, and becoming like our generous God. I'll see you on Wednesday or on Sunday. Blessings.